Hi, my name is Lydia Zakel, and I am a case manager at CWS Durham. Uh, in my position, I resettle refugees from around the world, but specifically from the Middle East and Latin America because they speak Arabic and Spanish. But our office does resettle refugees from other parts of the world as well, especially Afghanistan at this point in time. And I chose this career because um, I was studying refugee studies and I have an interest in um, like refugee politics and um, environment from my family being resettled as refugees. And also because I love languages and I wanted a career where I could speak the languages every day that I learned from IU and high school. Yes, there is a very big international and global component to my career. Um, we are receiving cases every day from around the world and through conversations, through home visits, through uh, meetings with people and clients that I have, I learn about their parts of the world, their culture, their languages. And so it's this continuous like learning environment as I teach them about uh, culture in the U.S. They teach me about their own culture too. So what foreign language or international or multicultural skills do you need for this position? Um, a lot of foreign languages uh, work for this position, uh, like Spanish, Arabic, Burmese is a big one, Dari, Pashto, um, languages from all around the world. French is a big one for a lot of our African clients, um, as well as smaller languages spoken throughout uh, different countries in Africa, like Kenya Rwandan or Kikoyo. Um, other skills that you might need, uh, caseworker or case management skills, so knowing how to coordinate with different actors in the city to help the resettlement process for clients. Um, and that can be like applying for Medicaid, applying for food stamps, um, getting doctor's appointments for clients and so forth. Um, different skills that I wish I would have developed as a student is I wish I would have um, expanded uh, my knowledge of vocabulary in Arabic or Spanish so that way I could communicate um, in rather than like everyday scenarios or the situations we learn in our textbooks but um, I wish I could communicate uh, trauma experiences that clients are talking to me about and then being able to like have that conversation in their native language comfortably. So vocabulary around that would have been very helpful for me um, during my studies at Indiana University. Advice I have for students who are interested in this career is to practice your language every day with native speakers and don't be afraid to practice. And also, I recommend uh, taking some social work classes as well, um, and then using the vocabulary you learn from those social work classes with the vocab or learning, using that vocabulary in the languages you're learning. So that way, uh, you can practice that before you even start this career. And those are my uh, recommendations and advice. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.